Hello everybody, welcome to Um Skyrim, isn't it? Yeah, it's Skyrim, but on the Xbox One X. Uh test recording. I believe it's 4K, I hope it is. I've selected a mission to showcase a little bit of the mods installed on this Xbox game. The Skyrim Special Edition version, fully modded. As you can see, this is uh, the White Run location, filled with trees. And uh, we're gonna do a mission. We need to find a sword, a family sword for some dude. And that's what we shall do. Together with my trusty bus. Come on, Fandal! Companion Fandal was talking about you. Kajits. Gonna ignore them for now. I'm trying to go to the mission objective without much distractions. I hope we can make it without any enemies on our path. Let me check something first. Weapons. Oh, I miss Sky Yui. There's no Sky Yui in the... <clears throat> Whatchamacallit. On the Xbox. One of the limitations. And of course a manual loadout of... Uh, Look at this, a nice dense forest, that's one of the mods, oops, giant camp, well it's not a giant camp, but a camp uh, of the giants, with a giant campfire again, not a huge camp, well it's kind of big, but that Giant campfire. Just a campfire. Of the giants. <laughs> well, look at that. It's looking good. Performing well. Considering the amount of mods I've installed. And there's a limitation on the amount of mods you can install on the Xbox. On the PC, not so much. You can pretty much install as many mods as you want until the game breaks, I suppose. <laughs> but on the Xbox, it's limited to the uh, yeah to some kind of storage limit. I believe it's about two gigs of storage is available for mod installments. I love the wood area. What's this? Iron. I'm not really... Oh! Take this! Bam! Bomb! Another one. Come here, you. Come on, Fandal, you're slacking. I kind of expected you could handle that wolf a little bit better, but... Oh well, I'm here to help, I suppose. Wolf pelts. I love the wolf pelts. Soul Warder arrived at our location. What do you think, Fandal? Can we make it? Not really a man of words. Alright, uh, I'm going to change my... See how works. Hmm. I miss my bow in the uh, favorites. Let me see. Weapons. Hunting bow. Put it on favorite. Now there. Yeah, now it is. Okay. There we go. I like to sneak attack my enemies. 
Yes, I do. Huh? Oh, now you're talking, huh? Uh, what, what did you do? What did you have in your hand? A dagger? You brought a dagger to a bandit's cave? Well, it's your funeral. Give me them apples. I hear voices, so... We are not alone. Yeah, let's stock up on some food. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why that made me laugh, by the way. Oop. What do I see? A doggy. Get the dog. I don't know. Potato, potato. The cabbage. There are still people here. Steel arrow, nice. Longbow, iron arrow. Dagger. Kind of hoping he was carrying a sword so it could equip Fandal with something better than a simple dagger. That's okay. Uh, still people here. Yeah, I can hear you fellas. What do you need with an iron pot? Oh, see, I got the dark. That's not bad shooting, if I do say so myself. Dark meat? Nah. Nope. Nothing in there, please. Oh. Ah, enough flour. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Yep. Novice. Oh. I'm still early in the game, so those crumbs are to be expected. Iron gauntlets, I don't need those. I've got those covered. What's in the sack? Salt pile. Now there's something useful. Excellent. Right, um, probably more bandits. I think I'm gonna switch up. There we go. Yeah, you keep your bow handy. Ignore your knife for now, please. All right, here we go. What's with the iron pots everywhere? Yeah, so I've uh, installed also quite a lot of graphical mods. You think, Vandal? Two. Huh? Two lead the way. Come on. Lead the way. God, Fendal. You take the brunt of uh, the attack, please. There you go. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Get her, Fendel. Well, I'm gonna get you anyway. How about that? Nice. She was tough, but not tough enough. Steel dagger. Well, maybe I can sell it. Huh? Switch bandit, steel greatsword. I know what I'll give you. Now look. <laughs> What do you think you're doing with that knife, dude? It's way I'm underpowered. I got something you for you. I want you to carry... ...a steel greatsword. It's kinda your thing, not my thing. I don't like... Uh, ...dual wield uh, weaponry, so... Now we were talking. Look at that. That's not a knife. Let's get going then. Yeah. Let's do this. I think we have them all. Hello, bandits. Hello. No. No bandits. Potion of minor magica. Now we all we have to do now is find a sword, I suppose. What's this? Nice. Let's take it. Oh, and of course I can level up. Yes, yes, yes. Our magic, our health, stamina. Let's do health for now. Destruction? No, no, don't care about those. Enchanting, smoothing. I like to give my archery a chance to grow. There we go. Yeah, so I'm pretty early in the game. Level 1, level 2. That's... Oh, it's empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potato, potato. Give me that. Oh, I saw you. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Amran's family sword. That's what we needed. Trash him at four. Oh. At the mill. What? Way up there? We need to go way up there for the treasure. All right. Ooh, nice staff of frostbite. Excellent. Let's take it all. Yeah, we re return. We will return the sword. Well, look at this. Barrels in a bandit cave. What shall we find? Beer, mead, ale, a sack of flour. All right, that's a bit disappointing. Nothing. Well, I'll take the salt piles, but... And, uh, what kind of bandits are these? The... Rugged Thieves of Cooking? What the... We got nothing here. Quite disappointing. Uh, get better loot next time. Uh, Dogs, stupid bandits, stupid cave. No fair. I expected better from them. These were poor, poor bandits. So let's return Amran's sword. Oh, what? Oh dear, I hear a deer. Without further ado, 
let's go down this road. Yeah, my stamina is not uh, really at a high level, of course, because of my level 2. I think I'm now at level 2. Look at this. Looks beautiful. Nice, dense forest. I love it. Yeah, and these uh, lantern poles. Also mods, of course. And the way Fandal looks is uh, a mod. Well, not only Fandal. Every NPC in this game is uh, adjusted with some skin texture. Normally not available at the vanilla game. Look at that. I'm already tired. Oh, this is bad. What's this? Just give me the, ex the discovered prompt, please. You've discovered Fort... Whatchamacallit? Greymoor. Fort Greymoor. Yes. And I love this. I love this mod with all the trees in near right run. really changes the way the game looks. Bit less visibility of course, but that's okay. Well, going to white run. Let's cut uh, through the woods. Because why not? I mean, what can go wrong, right? Just some simple woods. Yeah, that's a fox, that's okay. I'm gonna leave the cute little fox alone. Mud crabs. They can do their mud crabs thingies. Ah! Six. Yeah, I got wet feet too, Fandal. Bit of a bummer. Discover this. Where we'll fight our first dragon. Excellent. Who's that? Who that? Oh, just a white run guard. That who? <laughs> Let's run for a little while. And tired. Yeah, I'm really loving this uh, forest mod. Excellent stuff. I also have a mod in White Run. Where there are some trees in there. Unfortunately, no 3D trees like uh, on the PC. No, 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 no. We don't want to talk to her. Let's run a little. And the Khajiit. There is. Uh, um, the water 2.0 mod that's available for uh, the Xbox, so that's nice. And some trees in cities, I believe, is, is it's called. I do not have the uh, open cities mod installed because that was a pretty good guarantee to crash my game on the Xbox. So that's a shame. I like the open cities mod prevents these kind of loading screens, but there are very little patches for it. Uh, bar none. I didn't encounter any patches for it. 
on the uh, Bethesda mod side for open cities. So that's not an option to use. Too many crashes. Come on. Stop loading already. There we go. Look at that. Couple of trees in wide run. It's nice, right? And there's no ENBs, of course, but I have installed a mod also available on PC to look at that. Yeah, hey. Do 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 do. Mm, yeah, no, I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Here. My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks. Take pity, sir, and spare me a few seconds. Are you still working at the Bannered Mayor in the evenings, Ophina? <laughs> kind of busy. Okay, Fandal, don't be uh, insulted that I s said to that guy I did it all by myself. I know you helped. You look tired, friend. The Baron de Mere has beds for rent. Thanks. Those green apples you sold me the other day were delicious. I have my own house. So uh, I thank you, Fendal, for helping me. Although you weren't really helpful with your dagger. And I helped you with a nice steel greatsword. Well, this is about it for uh, the expose on some of the mods installed for this game, like the cats. You saw the cat, right? It's also a mod. I work with my mother. Yeah, so kitty cat. It's fun most days. Hello. <laughs> love it. And the trees in cities mod. I love it. Looks good on the Xbox. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little expose. And uh, hopefully we'll see each other in the next one. So thank you guys for watching. You all have a good one. See you later. Bye bye.